Today I'm going to be tying a pheasant tail soft hackle nymph on a size 16 Daiichi 1180 hook with UTC 70 burnt orange thread. So once you get your thread started on the hook, take about a 4 inch length of copper wire and tie that in on the far side of the hook which would be the near side for the camera. And you want to tie that back all the way to the bend. And then take about six or eight pheasant tail fibers and strip them off, keeping the tips aligned. And I like to tie them in on the near side of the hook and then let the thread tension pull them to the uh, the top of the hook and then adjust the tail to length and once that's done I like to get my thread back to where I started it which is about the one-fourth mark on the hook or three-fourths depending on where you start your measurements And then once you've wrapped the pheasant tail forward, you can tie that in, or tie it down, sorry. And snip the excess off. And you can then wrap your wire forward. Spin it to break it off clean. Next, I take some peacock curl. Just one fiber should be good. And tie that in. And then Wrap it forward, pushing the thread up the shank as you go to about an eye length behind the hook eye, and then tie it down and break or cut it off. Next, you want to take a feather from the head of a Hungarian partridge and strip the lower fluffy fibers off. And then what I like to do to separate the feather or the fibers that I want is put it tip first into my uh, I can't remember what this is called. This, whatever, <laughs> whatever it's called, I cannot remember for the life of me. Hackle pliers, there we go. And cut a small triangle for an anchor, and then tie it down with nice tight wraps to keep it from pulling out while you're wrapping it around the hook. Ah, crap. <laughs> Make sure you don't hit your thread either. So I'm gonna have to try that again. Uh, sorry about all the sniffing. I think I might be coming down with a cold. But Next week's video will probably be a streamer because I am using my last nymph hook for this. So, 
it might be a while after next week before I do another time video. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Okay, here we go. Now, grab the tip of the stem with your hackle pliers and gently fold the fibers back and wrap it around the shank. And once you've gotten that, you can tie it down. I like to just take two wraps of thread. And you can then block the view while you cut the stem off. Once you're sure that's secured down, you can whip finish. I like to do two, just to kind of build up the head. This is not cooperating with me today. There we go. I like a nice sort of blunt head on my soft hackles. And there you have it. A pheasant tail soft hackle nymph. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.